Let's talk about what you get in the box. You're gonna get the charger, it's really packed well so you don't get no damage in shipping. What's really cool, the cord is 16 foot long, tip to tip. So you got plenty of cord, that's very nice to see. Simple instructions on bypassing the OBC uh, computer or the onboard computer. Because you, uh, you got, and it comes with two different cables. Uh, this cable here is for the DS model, Club Car DS. This cable is for the Club Car President. So we won't be using that one today, we'll be using this one. And here's the instructions, and I'll go step by step, show, show you how to, how to do that. I'll tell you for what years it makes and everything it works with. Got your owner's manual, a little troubleshooting guide. So everything you need, get yourself going. All right, so let's get around here and start unhooking a few things. Okay, so you see I've removed the positive cables off that, you know, but, but still we've got all these hot batteries, so you can be careful to be dropping no wrenches around here. Next thing we've got to do is remove this nut, so let me get my ratchet on that. Just a 3H drive. No, oh, let me back up. All you need here is a quarter inch drive ratchet, 3H socket, and just pull that nut right off. Okay, now be mindful, there's a small washer here. Don't do this in the grass, you'll drop that nut and washer in the grass, you'll never find it. And, uh, right there, so that. Now we have disconnected the onboard computer. That's all there is to it. Now I'll zip tie these wires back out of the way and tape them up and everything. Now all we've got to do is put our jumper on. So here's our jumper wire. This is our bypass wire. We've got a small end and a large end. Of course, the large end goes on the battery post. Just like our drawing shows you, we're going to put this in place just like it shows. So I'm going to put this cable here right on this little post then route it around over here to the ground cable on the, on the battery. So let me get started with that. Okay, so bear with me. I'm doing this one-handed. Put our cable on there like that. Get this little washer and nut. Try not to drop it. Let's see if we can do that. I actually got it. Good deal. And there's a little notch here on the back side where that cable wants to kind of hang down at the bottom, so make sure you kind of have it in that, that, little, that little notch in that plastic housing. All right, get my ratchet on it. Just get a good snug. So we got that done. Now what we got to do is take this ground cable loose put this on here so let me tidy up this wire a little bit better yeah be mindful of how you route your wire so you always have access to your fill caps put that on there tricky doing this stuff with one hand but, but we're managing all right got that snugged up got my 14 millimeter wrench on it all I gotta do is hook up the positive cable and we'll be, uh, be ready to plug this up and test it. So, last step, snug up this cable. She's good. Alright. Now let's plug up this new charger and see what we see. Like I mentioned before, you know, that's one pin, this, the, the one the gray wire goes to on the back side is not used. So, to confirm that, I, I, I took the connection apart and you can see here. You've only got two pins inside, so that's not used at all. So let me stick that back together. I'll need two hands and we'll plug it up. Okay, so you can see what's going on. I've got it plugged up to 110 volts. We've got red and green, so now we'll plug it up to the cart and we should start charging. Okay, so now it's went to red and red and the fan is blowing. And when it gets fully charged, it'll go to green. You'll hear it if everything's shut down.